and welcome to my class today we are going to have a discussion on our topic 2 that is sociology as science this topic is very important and little tricky in UPSC syllabus if you'll see this topic which I'll explain in a while to you it's ask a question that the definition of sociology which says that sociology is a scientific discipline similar to natural science discipline it is asking and inquiring is it true the discipline of social sciences can be fit into the parameters of natural sciences the way natural science conduct their scientific investigations and bring out natural or physical facts to us which are universal in nature can we have such cultural universals in understanding diverse societies we know that sociology is studying social groups and these social groups are diverse in nature they vary from region to region our culture is not specific and we know that society is dynamic and not static so if it is not static in nature can we understand sociology as a discipline which orients similarly like natural science subject that is why you will see in previous year questions many questions have come up that is sociology a science in this particular topic we need to have a argumentative mindset we need to have explorative inquiry with respect to the subject matter of sociology in the previous lectures I have explained that how sociology has emerged and how because of historical antecedents or historical events like enlightenment renaissance political revolutions industrialization have proved that we need to understand social changes with respect to natural science procedures and then we need to bring out social facts if i quote emile durkheim this particular topic sociology as science i would say that two subtopics are very important that is positivism and anti-positivism also to question is sociology a science we need to create base in topic 2 only for our topic 3 that is research methods tools or techniques when I teach to my aspirants, I teach both topic 2 and topic 3 in a complementary manner. When I say that sociology is a science, then I am reflecting to positivist approach. Many aspirants get confused and believe that anti-positivist believe that sociology is not a science it will be incorrect to say that in fact Max Weber have explained sociology as a science of social actions and Max Weber is a founder of anti-positivist traditions what you have to understand here is that we are having a debate we are having a debate 
let's assume that we are in 18th 19th century and all the classical sociologists like Karl Marx, Emile Durkheim, Max Weber, August Comte, Herbert Spencer, Saint Simon and many more are arguing with natural scientists, philosophers and they are arguing that we need to understand society the way natural scientists are studying social facts, natural facts. This is a basic understanding. So being a sociologist, how I would convince to this natural scientist philosophers that yes, st society needs to be studied in a scientific manner. This is a basic argument and debate we need to understand. A common problem with respect to topic 2 and topic 3 is that it requires a research orientation. If one does not have research orientation, they will not be able to bring deeper understanding on topic 2 and topic 3. And I have analyzed a pattern of UPSC where UPSC wants to, if they want to make a syllabus or you can say not syllabus but yes UPSC previous year questions or UPSC question papers if they want to make it difficult they bring out questions from this particular topic topic 2 and topic 3 so quickly today I'm going to give explanation in a very generic manner I'm going to give you a background information and later on I will clear the concepts like positivism, anti-positivism, what is objectivity, what is subjectivity, what is research methods and methodology. Okay. So my analysis goes on this particular topic if I'll say. See, this topic sociology as science and research methods. Not many questions come from this particular topic so let me just show you see in 2014 it's of 20 marks in what way is the interpretative method interpretative method is a non positivist method so non positivist method who says that individual plays a very important role individual social action plays a very important role in understanding society so i'm going to explain in a while let me explain you that how many questions generally comes from this topic so you can say 20 mark 10 mark it's like 30 40 50 60 70 in 2014 in 2015 we have maintaining objectivity value neutrality social science research 20 30 then we have another question it, probably 10 marks non-positivist methodology then we have relevance of historical methods then what are variables discuss their role in experimental research what is random sampling said to have more reliability and validity in sociological research why random sampling has more reliability reliability means that for instance i am understanding caste system in india and I'm saying that untouchability is being practiced in caste system very rigidly. It is a strong belief system. So I am experimenting this variable caste system and untouchability and I would kept on testing it by different methods. That brings reliability. So reliability means testing your findings again and again by different methods. Okay. And validity is that my finding is true or if someone else also are conducting research on the same topic they will also find out the same findings as i did so in 2015 also 20 30 40 50 and then in 2016 10 marks 10 marks then again 20 marks then again 20 marks in 2017 also we have got the three four so one two three four five question six i would say and then 2018 18 you all can see this questions which is coming in our exam 
from topic 2 and topic 3. So, is sociology a value-free science? Discuss. Methodology is a system of rules, principles and procedure which form scientific investigation. Comment. Discuss the importance and sources of hypothesis in social research. Analyze the trend and weakness of social survey methods in social research. Phenomenological perspectives in sociology reject many of the assumption of positivism. Alright, so now I hope you people are clear that this particular topic is very important. Topic 2 and topic 3 is not only important but as I said it's tricky and little complex. You cannot understand until and unless you do not understand the gist of this topic. So, as I said, you need to understand two major discussion, debate. Those who are positivist and those who are anti-positivist. They want to understand society with different procedures. So, positivists are like natural scientist and they use the same procedure which natural scientists use to understand natural facts. They believe that society consists of social facts like we have natural facts right for instance rain is there sky is there we have atmosphere okay so let me explain you from here so natural scientists believe that we have an environment and this environment we have let's just say sun we have atmosphere okay we have like you know all this biosphere which we can see we can observe that right and then we need to do a systematic procedure scientific procedure to study them so for example we'll do observation okay by observation we'll make hypothesis then we collect data we will analyze the data okay and then we will make theory so the way we are understanding natural phenomenon for instance we have law of gravity the way we understand the concept of speed and energy It is out there in our environment and we cannot deny them. These are the natural facts. Positivists in sociology are arguing similarly the way we have natural facts, we have social cultural facts. We have social facts. Marriage, religion, family these are politics culture is a social fact so when we are born in this world we are also surrounded with these social facts whether i like it or not i'll be the part of a family as social facts whether i want it or not i'm a member of some religious group I am a member of some political structure, economical structure. It, all this is given to me before I was born. The way sky is given to us, the way atmosphere is there, the way we have natural environment available to us before we were born. Similarly, when human beings are born in this world 
they are all they also have diverse social facts this is a common you would say a very important argument made by positivist so positivist is making a similarities between natural world and social world they are saying that the way natural worlds has full you know they are independent and they are external to us similarly these social facts in individual's life are external to individual and these social facts has got coercive power on us let us say if something happens out there in our environment in natural environments if there is a earthquake or any natural disaster i will not have any control over that that is how imail durkheim is explaining that these cultural facts like marriage religion they shapes our character they shapes our individual you know this individuality personality we do not have control but we do what society want from us imail durkheim has taken a tool of social facts and explained in his book rules of sociological methods and he conducted a study on suicides and he very well explained that how suicide is not a individual action but it derives out of social action it is a social event it happened because of social facts and he says that when a person commits suicide and he shown a statistical while using statistical methods he has explained that suicide is not a mere individual action but society also plays a definite role on the contrary to positivism we have anti positivism who claims that individual is not a mere puppet human beings are critical thinking being and human beings have the ability to influence society it is human being who create society it is we who creates the world it is we who gives name to sun to sun moon to moon to all these things which exist in us around us it is human being who creates that so non positivist focuses on individual social action individual social action and not only individual action so it's a behavior social actions of a particular group all right and that is an approach given by non positivist so non positivist is the interactionist per, uh, you can say it's a interactionist perspective which focuses on that we need to understand society in a scientific manner by focusing on individuals action and not only on society in upsc have also asked a question in one of the essays that is it individual who shapes the society or it is society which shapes the individual some topic like that so this debate on positivism and anti positivism is reflecting on that and it will this concept become will more it will be more clear to you by following explanation so why do we have research we conduct social research to bring out social facts the way science are bringing natural facts and social facts are related with social interactions and different social phenomena so i am skipping this example and moving forward so social research also consists a systematic plan we have collection of data there are two methods qualitative method and quantitative research methods which we will discuss in coming lectures so qualitative method is a method in which we try to have nuanced understanding of social phenomena you can say qualitative methods follows non positivist approach and quantitative 
research follows positivist approach so qualitative it's non positivist and qualitative is positivist okay so sociology and related research is a type of the systematic study of human societies with emphasizes on modern industrialized social systems i'm not going to talk about uh, the difference between methods and methodology i like to bring more clarity on positivism and anti positivism first see positivism or interpretivism it is also known as non positivist so here positivism is asking a question is asking uh, and telling us the answer that is sociology as science so they yes it is a science whereas here it says that is sociology as science so they say it is not exact as science but where here it is said that no it it is about meaning which can be measured so it is not that that non positivists are saying that it is not a science but they are saying that we need to focus on the meaning which generates out of this social phenomenon so non positivist basically are going that they are not exact science okay further i have like you know uh, told in a very like in a detailed manner that how thinkers like thomas kuhn karl popper have questioned the credibility of science what is science science is basically it's a approach by which we find out the facts so the parameters of natural science cannot be the only parameter to bring out different truths in a society so that is a further debate which we can discuss later on but positivism believe that society needs to be understand the way we study natural science so durkheim emile durkheim com august comte they propagate this theory whereas interpretative or non positivist they say that we need to understand on the meaning of social actions it is founded by max weber herbert mead herbert mead was influence and have brought Herbert Bloomer work so it's a quantitative approach and qualitative approach so you can say that positivism believe that the knowledge about society is just like should be the part of the social or uh, natural world so humans are the part of natural world it calls scientific method and discover universal social laws interpretivism says that social life is fundamentally different human beings are different it human mind human social actions needs to be explored so max weber argued that the society needs to be understand by the mechanisms of having crystal understanding on social actions whereas emile durkheim or karl marx they focused on positivist or macro approach so positivists believe we are influenced by social system that society controls who we are and interpretivist believe in social action that we as individual control society positively use large samples of people when they want to conduct a research and interpretivist use small samples so you can say that positivism belief that it is society which shapes the individual society consists of social facts which exercise coercive control over individuals on the contrary we have interpretivism or non positivist approach which says that individuals have consciousness and are not just puppets who react to external social forces as positivists believe so people's action can generally be explained in the social norms they have been exposed to through their socialization so positive is says that we behave according to our socialization according to the values which is given to us by society and non positivist believe 
that individuals are intricate and complex and different people experience and we do not have objective reality but we have subjective reality so i would say that let me explain in this manner it's sociology or science if a question come in your paper what you have to say you need to say that sociology as a discipline which emerged in 19th century is considered to be a scientific discipline because it involves scientific investigation and procedures however there are two school of thoughts which says that whether sociology should be studied by the methods of natural sciences or we must have different approach in this regard we have positivism which talks about that society needs to be understand and analyzed by the methods scientific procedures which natural science do on the other hand we have anti positivist approach which says that individuals social action means a lot therefore we need to focus on the meanings which individual creates in their particular social context anti positivism you can say focuses on micro understanding of a society so how do i relate to different institutions what is my belief to different institutions how do i fit myself in this structures of society so do i believe in religion or not can be a part of major social group which has their own actions and meanings attached to the institution of religion on this line positivism believe that religion is religion marriage family they are massive social institutions they are structures which shapes our belief so this is a common debate so we will say that positivism wants this they want to understand sociology as a natural scientist the way they are studying anti positivist wants to focus more on social actions however they both involve scientific procedures yes they are indeed a scientific discipline but we have debate on the procedures of finding the truth for instance karl marx has understood capitalism by the variable of economic situation it for him it was economical situation and person's position in the relation of production which decides its status which decides person's status in the society and by taking that he has created a very popular theory conflict theory whereas emil durkheim have understood same capitalism with a example of that with a theory of division of labor and weber have tried to understand more detail that why capitalism flourish this is a common example which i often quote in sociology so that you do have you do have good understanding on this usage okay so in research methods also it is not that only positivist are using scientific procedures anti positivist are also using scientific procedures but anti positivist are focusing on individuals thought process too in anti positivism tradition or interpretivism tradition we have different schools of thought as well like phenomenology ethnomethodology and symbolic interactionism lot many question come from this field okay so today i'll conclude my lecture on on explanation of that how anti positivism and positivism are different and how i have explained that it is relevant to our exam so to so uh, in coming lectures i may also give more information on the topic 2 and 3
थैंक यू सो मच टेक केयर